Welcome to Intercontinental Porto Palácio das Cardosas. My name is Francelina and from history to art and our famous port wine, Porto has a lot to offer. So please come with me so I can show you my favorite places in the city. Around the hotel you will find everything. From bookstores to churches, cafes and monuments, it's all just a short walk away. Across from the hotel we have the São Bento train station. Here you can see a collection with more than 20,000 tiles. These tiles are so special because they show you scenes that tell us the story of Portugal. Right now we are in the Majestic Café, one of the most beautiful places in the city. The Majestic Café is the place that you need to visit because it tells us the story of the city, the Oporto of the 20s. Whether you are a book lover or not, you must come to Livraria Lelo. Founded in 1869, it's considered to be one of the three most beautiful bookstores in the world. It's more than just buying or reading a book. Here, one reads art. Porto isn't just about the port. If you have the taste for history and art, then we've got you covered. As UNESCO World Heritage, Porto has plenty of monuments to be visited. Right now, we're standing at Palacio da Bolsa, one of the examples that we have that was built on the 19th century and that is now seat and property of the Association Commercial of Oporto. Next to each other, we have two perfect examples of the religious architecture. We have Igreja do Carmo, built on the 18th century in the Rococo style, and we have Igreja das Carmelitas, built on the first half of the 17th century in Baroque and Classic style. In the last few years, most of the art galleries settled in Rua Miguel Bombarda, turning this street into not just a street, but a state of mind. Once a month, the art galleries open new exhibitions simultaneously, an event worth visiting. Here, you can also find charming inns, eclectic shops, restaurants, tea houses, etc. The Ribeira, although touristic, cannot be missed. All kinds of restaurants and bars are to be found here. From international to traditional food, Porto is full of incredible restaurants. And if you're looking for typical Portuguese food, you need to come to Restaurante Adega de São Nicolau. Located in Ribeira, he has a very nice view over the river. I recommend ordering grilled sardines with tomato rice or octopus on his rice. It's wonderful. She's restaurant. It's modern, trendy, and it's the place to be seen. With two menus, you'll have plenty to choose from. I strongly recommend the sushi. It's a club, it's a cafe, and it's located in the neighborhood of Clérigos. That's why it's called Tresia. But it's also a cool, relaxed restaurant that after midnight, like a Cinderella, becomes a lively bar. Ideal to get into the night among great chats, drinks and good music. From boat tours, wine tasting to exploring the city, Porto has a lot of things to discover. Solar do Vinho do Porto. The reason why I brought you here is because this is the only place in the city that you can taste all the types of Porto wine and all the brands too. You really need to come here. Ask for your port wine, relax and enjoy this amazing view. Another way to see the city is to board on one of the boats parked on the river. And for 15 minutes, visit the many bridges that cross it and get a sense of the road once traveled by the wine barrels. Hope you enjoyed to see a few of my favorite places in the city. My concierge team and I look forward to welcome you at Intercontinental Porto Palácio das Cardosas. We hope to see you soon.